welcome back to another episode of Activities at Home. Um, today, I uh, was inspired by something I saw on a Facebook post, and I wanted to kind of try it out. Um, so, kind of remind me whether or not, I don't know if you ever see those um, Pinterest fails, but uh, I, so I did an experiment with it, and it's actually working out well. So, I just wanted to test it first, um, so I'll show you, but and then I'll show you the process. So today what we're doing is, um, it's called a sea glass look by using just glue, just regular glue and um, food dye. So if you have any food coloring left over, if you've been dyeing eggs um, and you know, have some glue laying around, um, and you'll be able to get this desired look. You can do it. So I chose a small mason cup. Oh, it's still a little wet from when I just did my experiment. But you could uh, basically do it on any glass. So I've seen some folks, they've did it on you know, like a wine glass. They've done it on, you know, a vase or like a little, maybe a bigger mason jar. And then they put flour. You could put, um, some. I'm going to use this cup not maybe to drink but um, to liven up my workspace that I've been using. Um, put some markers in it instead of just sitting on or some pens that we use. So um, the process is pretty simple. It's so I have this little I'm using it as my palette. Um, so you can use a paper plate. You could use a margarita plate. This is just, I don't know, I think it's from one of my kids' takeout orders from over the years I found in my, my Tupperware cupboard. So all I did, and I didn't even do any measuring, I just, and um, I'm going to redo the blue because it's very light. So I just put a little glue in there, a bit of glue, I took my food dye. I added some couple drops, just a couple, and then I'm just using the end of my f a plastic fork I found. So you can use anything. You could use um, a toothpick, really, if you wanted, or um, a spoon. This is all washable, so I wa used washable um, paint, or not paint, washable glue. So. Um, so when I'm done with all this, I just need a little um, hot water and a little soap and all this will clean up and I'd be able to use it um, in the future. So I just mix it all up and you can add more if you want a little darker. You can add more glue if you want a little lighter. And then I just took my paintbrush, I put a little bit of paint, so by paint I mean the glue and food dye mixture. So I just put a little bit on there. And then I just began to put it, try to angle it out. I just put it on, put it on the jar. And it takes a little while. It gets a little tacky, as you can imagine. It's a little sticky. So it takes a little time for it to dry. So. I, I mean, I really like, I enjoy I just sitting here and looking at it. It's very calming. Kind of having a quiet, quiet morning. I'm hearing the birds while I do this. It's really nice. Um, the sun, the sun's shiny for now. It is, um, you know, each day seems to be getting a little bit warmer, so it's some good stuff, but see, trying to angle that out so you can see it. Well, I don't know why I can't figure this out. All right, so I mixed some blue and red, and I made a purple. So I'm gonna, you can see, so you can do it light, so it's kind of see through, so opaque kind of looking. You can have it like that. You can do it, you know, thicker. Eventually, when it dries, it gets a little um, lighter. Um, if you put it on too thick, so you want to do thin layers, if you do it too thick, it might start to run 
Um, I got a little bit on my tablecloth, but again, it's all washable, so it's fine. I got some on my hands. What I've been doing was um, going to my sink, because this is glue. Uh, um, I want to make sure that you wash it in between the colors. So I've just been walking over to my sink and using a little dish soap and cleaning it out and drying it off and then coming over and doing the different colors. I suppose you could have a plastic cup with some hot water in it and clean it in between. Um, you can, you know, if you were doing this on a frame, you could, um, kind of make a stain look. You could take masking tape or painter's tape and, you know, create like a little zigzag design on it and paint each section, um, a different color. You could do that on, you know, a jar, or, um, on a vase and it would look, you know, really cool. So, um, you know, you just keep doing doing the layers. So like I said, in order to make purple, so I already have all this blue and I'm pretty okay with my blue right now. I would just add some red to it. So remembering that from my art class, um, I had to take Fine Arts 101. I wasn't excited for when I registered for it, but the rest of my classes were really stressful. Um, I was really getting into my social work classes. I was doing a lot of memorization and long papers. So I, I started to begin to look forward to my Fine Arts 101 as a kind of a stress reliever class. We were allowed to do a lot of the work and kind of chat as we went along as long as we were doing what we were supposed to. So like I said, if you add, so remembering my, my colors, if you do red and blue it makes like a nice little purple which i love um so you just blend it up till you get the color that you would like so you can add a bunch of you know you can make a whole variances of things so if you again if you add the white glue some people have done this with clear glue and it makes it um even more opaque so you'd have to do a lot of light layers let it dry so just depending on your um, patience level in between things, um, you know, this is a project you can work on throughout the day. But again, with my purple, it's very, I don't know why I can't figure out where the camera is. Just spin it. See, it's very see-through. So I'm just gonna put on, put on that other layer. Get a little color. Like I said, you just keep kind of, you know, put on a nice layer, let it, let it dry, see what it looks like and see if you want to keep it or, you know, put some on until, until it's, it's perfect, until it's, it, what is. So I'm really excited that this project turned out because sometimes you read those things, you know, and a lot of people are sharing different types of crafts to do and they make it look really simple um but then i go to try to do it and it's not so simple um because although it may seem like i'm super crafty i prefer you know some simple so this turned out to be real and it is actually simple and it's something that's not gonna frustrate you because it's art so even if it comes out a little darker not exactly how you want it. I'm gonna have to fix my green layer later on. Um, it still would be perfect because it's art. So no way. It is what it is what you want it to be. So, like I said, you can do it on anything, anything glass. Um, I would um, imagine. I wouldn't want to put this through like the dishwasher. So if you did do it on something, you would need to um, just, you know, kind of hand wash it on the inside where it would get dirty if you were to use it. Um, that'd be my recommendation if you're going to drink. So I wouldn't, if I were going to use this as a cup, I wouldn't put it along the top so that you wouldn't ingest it. Um, and then, you know, kind of hand clean it, but don't soak it. Just take like a wet you know, rinse it out, take like a wet paper towel, kind of clean it, 
on the inside and then drain it and dry it. That'd be my recommendation. So, um, so with the upcoming holiday weekend, our office is actually closed Friday and Monday um, at Compere, but um, I am working on a digital um, and virtual uh, scavenger hunt. So that will get posted on Thursday with all the directions on how to do it. Some of the stuff might be to go back and see some of our other videos and find something, kind of find that little um, clue. Also um, might ask for something fun, um, maybe some trivia about comp here um, and stuff like that. And you'll be able to get entered to win a prize. So be sure to look for that um, on Thursday, um, April, April 8th, 2020. Um, and then we'll have the prize drawing, give people, um, no wait, Thursday is April 9th, I'm so sorry. April 9th, 2020. And then we'll probably do the, the drawing on April 15th, 2020 um, for the prize. So be sure to tune in um, to our Facebook page. Um, maybe I'll have a little uh, quick video kind of walking you through the process and how to do it. Um, so if you're watching this video in the future uh, <laughs> and it's already passed April uh, 15, 2020, sorry. The, the prize drawing would be already over with, but at least you would have some really cool uh, sea glass looking glass and a video on how to do it. So I hope everybody is doing well, that you're having, um, you know, finding those moments um, of peace and um, while we're all kind of going through this at home, uh, social distancing together, and uh, please leave comments. You can email me at alana at compierbuffalo.org or um, give us a call at 716-883-3331. Leave a message um, and we will you know, try to help. So hang in there. We're doing all right. Watch my other videos. Send me pictures. I want to see um, your crafts that you're doing. Um, if you're doing a different craft, send me a photo I want to see. And if you're one of my regular activity folks, just know that I miss you and I can't wait um, until we can get back together soon. So, okay. Bye!